Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tammy. I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique and today is just a quick, I hope, video <laughs> of my sharing my upcoming festival with you guys. So this festival, guys, is a 10-day festival. It's called the Covered Bridge Festival in Park County, Indiana. And this is my second year of actually attending this festival. I do have a bit of a history with this. <laughs> so if you're interested in hearing a bit of my history with this festival, I'm gonna link a card up above so you can kind of check that out. It goes into some of the mistakes I made when I tried to several years ago. Uh, I sent my products with someone and I made a lot of mistakes that year. It's kind of a painful video, guys. <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes. Last year was so much better. I thought I would just share with you again the, the process for getting ready for this festival and what I'm doing maybe differently or the same and what worked last year and all those good things. So this is just me gabbing with you guys <laughs> like I tend to do. <laughs> I thought about doing like a vlog. Okay, I don't even know what that means though. I mean, I know what it means, but does that mean like I have to do an hour? I mean, I could literally talk to you guys for an hour and not have any problems, but I thought instead of calling it a vlog, <laughs> maybe I'll just do a bit of a series and I'll just kind of share with you guys along the way where, where I'm at in, in preparing for this festival. It is now June and it is time for me to start preparing for October's festival. I went last year and I was hoping to make, I don't know where this, this number in my head guys was $6,000. That's what I was just, I just pulled that out of the air because I have no idea where that came from. I had about 3,600 in sales last year. So I didn't quite meet my goal, um, but I was planning on staying in the same location, even though I knew I could make more money and have a busier uh, foot traffic in other locations. Well, the location that I was gonna stay at was great because I was in a barn and I didn't have to worry about the storms or anything. And I was right next to a bathroom, real running water bathroom, like a real legit bathroom. And I really liked the organizers. They didn't let a bunch of flea markety stuff in and I really appreciated that because some of these outliers and, and even the main big big locations have started letting a lot of just flea markety stuff in. And I really appreciated that they didn't. The problem is the organizers, I, I know for sure one is not organizing it this year. I wasn't sure, I'm still not sure about the second one or the other, the other lady. Uh, so that was kind of like a bummer for me. And then the property was sold. So they weren't sure if they were even gonna host vendors this year. And I had heard that if they had decided to host, they were only gonna do it for three days. I really need the full 10 days to make this worth my while. And I had to walk away from that location before I even heard for sure whether they were gonna do it. Because another location opened up to me and I had to, I felt like I really did need to jump on that while I had the opportunity to do so. I'm gonna be on the square of Rockville and I should be, I believe under the tent and that's huge for me. I really wanted to be under the tent. I know that this tr foot traffic is gonna be much, much busier in this location. So my new goal is 6,000. <laughs> I still wanna hit that $6,000 goal, guys. <laughs> um, some good things and bad things about this. Definitely the new location is gonna be busier, like I stated. I'm not gonna be near a bathroom. I can guarantee you, I, if, I'm, if I'm 20 minutes from a porta pot, I'll be lucky. One of the biggest things that I'm worried about this new location is just security. Last year I was able to just leave all of my products out. We all did, all of us that were in the barn, we just, they locked the barn and we just walked away. And so there was very little worry about theft or my products being damaged. This year I will be outside, although I will be under a big tent. I don't know where at in the tent I'm gonna be. If I'm like right on a corner where I'm open to the outside, I'm gonna be involved in the elements a lot. So I really just don't know what to expect for this. I don't know what kind of security they're gonna have. I don't imagine I'm gonna be leaving a lot of products overnight at this location. I'm just gonna have to play that by ear. But I have a feeling I will be restocking more 
because of that and I will have to be carrying a lot more products to and from my car wherever that may be parked. I have no idea where I'm going to be parking at this new location. Another thing is I think I will be more susceptible to the elements. Last year we had a tornado come through Park County somewhere. It wasn't in the location I was in but there was certainly a humongous storm that came through. In October in Indiana we're going to look at storms at least one day there's going to be a storm. We're going to have several days of ungodly heat and we're going to have several days where we're shivering and, and bundled up because it's going to be so cold. October in Indiana guys. I have to prepare for all of these uh, weather uh, situations. That's kind of a concern. You know if I'm like I'm on the interior of the tent that's going to be less of a concern. But if I'm right up against the wall, whether they have walls, if it's just open, I, I have no idea what to expect. And if the, they do have walls, it can get quite stuffy and stifling in there and the humidity is going to be an issue as well, especially if there's no airflow. You want the walls for the weather protection, but you also don't want walls because you want the air circulation. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I have already started making soap for this festival. I don't have a lot of shows in the summertime. So most of what I'm doing now is just starting to prepare for this huge festival. I'm trying, I'm going to try not to say festival a bunch because I feel like I've already said it like 20 times. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. So here's the game plan guys. June and July is going to be mostly my soaps. I've already started making my larger batches of soaps and my liquid soaps and June and July those are th that's my soap making months. Um, and with that I'm still trying to get my candle line started and I'm still testing all of those. So sprinkled throughout that will be my candle line testing and once I have a scent ready to go then I'm going to start producing those candles too while I'm at it. I can do those pretty well through the week whereas my soaps are usually just through the weekends. Then come August, I really want to start ramping up my creams, my deodorants, and my shampoo bars. I want to have those fully stocked by the end of August. Uh, September, I will be starting in on my wax melts. And my the first part of September will probably be mostly wax melts. Again, still making all my candles within all this time frame, but uh, wax melts will probably be my focus the first half of September and then the second half of September and into that first part of October bath bombs and I will probably spend three weeks making bath bombs and nothing else but bath bombs because my my room's going to be a dusty mess <laughs> and I just want to get it all done in one go so yeah I, at least three weeks for bath bombs um yeah I think that's it I mean my lip bombs I think will be easy and if I have to make those I I can make those pretty quickly um, I'm trying to think of if there's anything else that I'm missing there, but that's kind of my, my game plan. So a lot of soap videos coming to you in the next couple of months, and then you're going to see a lot of other types of videos and no soap videos. <laughs> so that's it guys. That's my plan for Covered Bridge and just kind of sharing with you what's going on like I do. So I appreciate you guys. Oh, um, my goal is 6,000 again, right? So last year's goal was 6,000. That I didn't make it and one of the things I wanted to do with that 6,000 was take a good chunk of that and pay myself for three hours a week of work so I can reduce my hours at work and pay myself throughout the year for those three hours that I would be missing. Well since I didn't make the 6,000 that didn't happen. <laughs> Thankfully, thanks to you guys, I do make a little bit of income on this channel. It's weird. My channel has grown four times the size and I still make the same amount I made a year ago <laughs> I don't, or last October. I mean, it's like, how, how is my channel so much larger now and I still make the same amount of money? <laughs> well, I can't figure it out. But, um, so I, I did, I am reducing my hours by three, but so that is being paid for by by this channel so what I want to do with this year's money and I think this is a necessity and it's gonna happen whether I make the six thousand or not whatever money I get from this festival is gonna to go towards this expense and that is 
I want to pull the carpet out of my soap space in my soaping room and, and put down sheet linoleum. I have no idea how much that's going to cost. It has to get done and it's going to get done by the end of the year. Uh, that it's just gross guys. It's a carpet. What, what can you expect? Right. And I drop everything. <laughs> I spill and drop everything. The problem with that is, is that carpet is glued to the cement. So we're too old to do it. So we're going to have to pay somebody to come in and take up that carpet that is glued down and then they'll have to sand the cement floor before they can replace and put linoleum down. That means everything in the basement is probably going to have to come up here to the front first floor. I I don't imagine that I imagine there's going to be dust. I can't even imagine the mess that that is going to make. But uh I feel like that's really important for me to do. So that that is going to be the expense of the year and I feel like that's a necessity. So the money I make from Covered Bridge, whatever it is, little or small or big, it's going all of that is going to go towards replacing that floor downstairs. So that's the plan. Um, I surely to goodness I'll make enough for it, right? I can't imagine it would cost more than three grand to do that. <laughs> and I am I'm assuming I'll make at least three. I'm, if I made it at Billy Creek for three, I should make it here in a busier location for three, unless. You know, it's a bigger location that doesn't always turn out for me. So I could I could be walking away with two grand. Still going towards that floor, though. <laughs> All right, I'm off. I'll come back on here maybe in a few weeks or months, and I'll give you an update on where I'm at. And if you want to come along for the ride, stay tuned. If not, skip these ones, okay? <laughs> See you guys. Bye.